Wrestling Wrenches, Team Mean Machine, the Wildcats would like to welcome you to the 2012 FRC kickoff. Are you guys really excited? That's awesome. Over 800 high school students representing 38 teams from Portland and Clark County packed the house at Evergreen High School January 7th to celebrate the kickoff of the 2012 First Robotics Competition. FIRST, an acronym meaning for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, is an international program in which students have six weeks to design, build, and program a robot using parts from a standardized kit. The teams will meet in regional competition in Portland and Seattle in March in the hopes of earning a spot in the FIRST Robotics World Championships in St. Louis in April. FIRST is the mother of the robotics programs out there, and it's going to take a team to pull this off for you guys. David Medor, the CEO of the Vancouver-based firm U.S. Digital and a FIRST Robotics sponsor, encouraged the crowd to put teammates first. You can accomplish anything as long as you don't care who gets the credit. Finally, after hearing recorded messages from celebrities and technology leaders from a live video stream, the students learned this year's theme, Rebound Rumble. So the game Rebound Rumble uh, for me is it's pretty new. It's basically bas playing basketball with robots. So um, we're going to have to think of all kinds of uh, different new ways to actually um, move a basketball and shoot it into hoops. Um, I'm not going to get a lot of sleep. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to working with the entire team. Um, I know we're really looking forward to uh, building this uh, really cool robot. So. While 10 of the region's teams are new, the 2011 regional champion Team Mean Machine from Camas, Washington is building off an appearance in St. Louis last year. Uh, I think our experience back at Nationals is really going to help us in this coming season just because um, we know what to expect now and how we can build our robot to compete at such a high caliber. First Northwest Director Deb Mumhill says the program is more than fun and games. It prepares students for potential careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. This child's education is only going to be as strong as they put into it and what they get out of it. And so if they're very inspired to engage in their education and really understand math and really understand the science aspects, then they're going to be what our nation needs in the workforce at the end of the day. We call it a robotics competition, but we kind of hook them with the robot, but it truly is a business model. And like any small business, running a FIRST Robotics team doesn't come cheap. It costs $15,000 for a team to compete in a regional event alone. Teams receive partial government funding but rely mostly on contributions from local businesses and sponsors. Which means teams have to market themselves just like any technology startup. We write grants, we send out invitations to sponsor us, and if they accept, then we make a second date to actually go to them and take an interview and bring our robot and actually show them that we're legit and we're serious about wanting to have them as sponsors. Team mentors say by supporting FIRST Robotics, either financially or by encouraging employees to volunteer as mentors, local businesses can invest in the future workforce of Clark County is if you help our team, you're helping your future employees. And these kids have such a commitment because this isn't an easy thing to do. People, you know, you're building a robot in six, six weeks and that's only a really small portion of it. I've seen it, my heart's into it because I know it works. 